Hi, welcome to Tomography Web Design's Tech Talk. What I want to look at today is the new Nexus 7 from Google. Now, if you're browsing online for this device, you may find it under a variety of names, depending on which site you're browsing. Uh, I've seen it anything from the Nexus 7 2013 edition, the Nexus 7 uh, second generation, the Nexus 7 FHD, or if you're just browsing Google Play devices, the new Nexus 7. There seems to be some confusion as to what to call this device, but I can tell you there's no confusion when it comes to hardware specs. This new tablet from Google packs some great hardware specs, and we'll look at that right now. Let's open up the box. Here we have the box. Now, our, my primary goal for this device is to help uh, teach my two-year-old daughter um, with some learning apps. And, of course, I do web design, and I want to have a nice little device to test out uh, responsive web designs on a smaller screen. So I'll be checking that out. First thing that I come across is a little piece of tape across here that I'm going to have to uh, cut. So I'll take the lid off. First thing we see on top is the beautiful Nexus 7 tablet. We'll just lay that aside temporarily. Let's see what else we have under here. We have a power adapter, no surprise here, one USB port, and an output of 1.35 amps. A how to turn on your Nexus 7 tablet. Thanks, Google. Fully charge the battery from power outlet. That's what they're telling me to do first. Uh, guess we'll do that. Comes in, since we're in Canada, French. Warranty and safety guide, as well as a warranty and safety guide in French. And a USB cable. That's it. Your typical USB connector has the very small USB plug-in, typical on all your cell phones. Nice thing is, it's a nice standard adapter, not like your fruity products that come with the Apple only charger. Next, the Nexus. Very reflective screen. Can't wait to see what it looks like when it's on. Back, of course, has Nexus on it. We've got our charge port, USB port, headphones, the front facing camera at uh, 1.2 megapixels, and the rear camera running at 5 megapixels. Power and volume. Speakers on either side. They're both downward facing so I'm kind of curious to see how the uh, speakers will will work out. Hopefully they're uh, they're nice and powerful. Looking at the tablet uh, on the outside it looks beautiful. What you can't see is all that great stuff inside that makes this tablet so uh, awesome. We're missing out on looking at the good old quad core uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro processor running at 1.5 gigahertz, the uh, Adreno 320 running at 400 megahertz for the uh, graphics. It has two gigabytes of system memory. In this particular model has 32 gigabytes of storage memory, uh, which is really nice. Uh, I figured since I'd be sharing it with my daughter, uh, might need the extra space, and uh, we'll see how fast that fills up. I don't tend to have a lot of uh, music media to go on and uh, it'll be mostly for apps so I don't suspect it'll fill up too too fast but uh, I'll definitely keep you informed. Our display of course is a 7.02 inch display the .02 makes all the difference it is a 323 pixel per inch display which sounds really impressive but all that means is it is a 
1920 by 1200 pixels resolution or high def display running in this size of uh, display. So it should be very crisp. Um, you know, 300 over 300 pixels per inch uh, should give us a very crisp display. Other goodies to uh, note on this device, it is running Android 4.3 and of course since it is a Google device as soon as they update uh, Android we'll get the newest version right away. It does have dual band wireless so it can run at 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz on A, B, G or N wireless systems and it does include NFC and it has the ability to charge wirelessly on a wireless charger so we don't necessarily have to plug it in. Um, hopefully I'll get one of those and be able to test it out and show you guys just how it works. So there you have it. It's the new Nexus 7. I'll tell you that it's a, it's a nice rubbery feeling. I, like You can feel my, my fingers gripping on that. It's a very low slip back which I'm very pro of. It's very comfortable to hold in my hands and it's very thin. Nice rounded edges, rounded beveled edges. Overall really nice tablet and uh, I look forward to seeing what it can do. Anyway that's it for this tech tip. Stay tuned for the next tech tip which will be powering up this baby and logging into our Google account and setting it up. Till then, take care.